Let's now discuss about the concept of sealed classes in Java 17. So the problem before Java 17 was whenever we create a class, any class can extend it until and unless it is final. If it is final, no class can extend it. So we had only those two options. Either a class can be extend, extended by anyone or the class cannot be extended by anyone. But now with the introduction to the sealed classes, we can decide or what we can say that we can uh, give the white list of the classes that can actually be uh, inherited uh, by this particular class, right? So when I say vehicle permits car or maybe I say vehicle permits the bike class, so bike and car will be only two classes that will be extending uh, this class, okay? So final class car, final class bike. So now it is all valid. Only two classes can extend this. If suppose I uh, create another class uh, that is trying to extend, let's say for example, I create a class truck that extends vehicle, I'll be getting an error. It says that the class truck cannot extend the class vehicle as it is not a permitted subtype of vehicle, right? So only the permitted classes can now extend your vehicle class, which is very uh, exciting concept. But yes, uh, it is generally used in a well-designed architecture like for example the payments so when we have a payments as a sealed class what we can say only the upi payments or say the card payment and the uh, online payments will be allowed no other mode of payments will be allowed in such designs we make use of the concepts of sealed classes and one important thing that we have to note about the sealed class is that whenever you are subclassing a sealed class at that time either the class has to be declared as final or it has to be declared as uh, sealed again or it has to be declared as non-sealed so what why is that we will see that in the next part of this video